Okay, you look at this question now. Okay, 9.30 a.m. Michael and Jen set off at the same time from X to Y. Okay, so you can draw the distance timeline. X to Y. Okay, 9.30 a.m. I'll put it up and down because we have two people here. Michael and Jack. Okay, start off at the same time. X to Y. Okay, next. At 12 p.m. Michael completed his journey. So that means at 12 p.m. here, Michael reached Y. But Jen had covered 5 8 of the journey. So our whole journey will be made up a total of 8 units here. So I'll make this into 8. Because they start at the same time, they travel for the same period of time, except that for Michael, he reached town, uh, he reached Y at 12 p.m., but Jen only reached up to this point. Okay? Okay, before we move on, let's just look for the time taken here. 9.30 a.m. to 12 p.m., what's the time taken? Okay, 2 hours 30 minutes. But I would prefer to put it in terms of just hour. Why? If you look at the speed later, it's based on hour, right? So we put it in hours. So two and a half hour. Two, uh, two hours thirty minutes is equals to two and a half hour. So two and a half hours for Michael, the same thing. Two and a half hours for Jack. Four kilometers per hour faster than Jen. So one hour, Michael will travel 54 kilometers ahead of Jen. So this part that is ahead, when Michael reach Y, okay, it means that, okay, for these two and a half hours, if you multiply by 54. you find the total distance that Michael is ahead, which will also be the three units here. Okay? So three units of the journey, two and a half times 54, you will get 135 km. So once you get three units, okay, maybe we look for one unit first, 135 divided by 3, you get 45. Okay. Part A, the distance between X and Y. So, X and Y, our total distance here is actually 8U. So, for part A, 8U, you just need to take 45 to multiply by 8 to get the answer of 360. Please remember, it's distance that you are finding. So, you got to write 360 km. Okay, for your answer here. Okay, now we'll look at part B. Part B asks, at what time would Jen complete the journey? So Jen still need to travel the three U, right? So you want to find the time that she reached. It will be related to time taken. To find time taken, 
it will be it will be distance divided by speed. speed. So we know the distance is the three u, but we don't know the speed, right? But you can actually use my bow to find the speed first. Okay, because Michael actually traveled the whole distance, right? So Michael actually traveled the whole 360 km. And Michael only take two and a half hours. So if you find Michael's speed first, then you minus away the 54, you will get Jen's speed. Okay, so we find Michael's speed first. One hundred and forty-four. So, if Michael speed being one hundred and forty-four, he is fifty-four kilometers per hour faster than Jen. To find the speed of Jen, we will take one hundred and forty-four minus fifty-four. Jen speed ninety kilometers per hour. So. Distance she has to travel, the 135 km. Her speed at 90. To find the time taken of Jen. She will take one and a half hours. Okay. So this one and a half hours, please take note. It will actually be counting from 12 to and one and a half hours later then you'll get the answer. So, please present your answer using the timeline. 12 p.m. One hour later, 1 p.m. Half an hour is actually 30 minutes. So, 1.30 p.m. Okay, please take note. The question is given in 12-hour format. You've got to write back your answer in 12-hour format. Unless they ask you to state in the 24-hour format.